the National Gallery of Modern Art is celebrating the 65th annual Foundation Day. The existence of this premier institute representing the art, which was inaugurated in 1954 in the month of March on 29th. It's been a long journey showcasing many of contemporary and renowned artists also who has made a remarkable benchmark in the art field. It's also a moment to celebrate. It's the 10th anniversary of National Gallery of Modern Art, Bengaluru, and many more. Uh, when Farooqi sir was uh, the director of the NGMA in Delhi, I said, Farooqi sir, why don't you open a southern center of the NGMA? He said, it's a good idea. He said, we'll provide you the accommodation. Our project is open to the Yassar Bommai. We are going to Karnataka to Karnataka. Karnataka is the National Gallery of Modern Art. We are going to be a shock and we are going to be a shock. Human Resources Ministry in Delhi had, written, uh, had uh, asked the government of Karnataka to provide a place for the National Gallery of Modern Art. This was almost about 20 years ago. And once I had to meet, I met uh, the Secretary of Culture of the State Government of Karnataka. And he said, yes, yes, we are planning to give 10 acres of land next to, in Hesargata, next to Kaka, Rudyagra. I said, sir, this is National Gallery of Modern Art. We need a place right in the heart of the city. With 10 acres of land, you can create an art village there, but not a museum like National Gallery of Modern Art. Then, uh, then we thought best is to pressurize the government somehow. And so, we were about five, six artists. We planned a meeting at the press club. We identified three buildings, Baladuri, Carlton House and Manik Yuri Mansion. National Gallery of Modern Art na Bengaluru ke tarbe konta aneek ro aneek vidhudali kalsa madhu. Adarali mukhya vagi na helba karanta hisru andre Dr. Chidanand Murthy avdu. Anantra aage na Academy adhyakshra ki danta C Chandra Shekhar. Anantra Vasa Kumar, U Bhaskar Rao, Chandranath Acharya, J M S Mani hago naun. आ संदर्भ में निर्दिष्ट है दंता बहुत ही का यल्ला कलेज के संबंध पटन ता चटोट के गले ये गुंप बागवस्ता है तो ये गुंप ना वो रे ने बहुत ही का यल्ला बेरे बेरे संदर्भ गले ली नियोग गले न होगा दुर्मुल का अर्जी गले न कोड़ा दुर्मुल का वत्तर गले न हेड़ा दुर्मुल का इली नेशनल गैलरी major cultural uh, exhibition center was Chitrakala Parishad and also to some extent Venkatapa Art Gallery and the focus was really on Karnataka. It was not really an all India focus. So these major exhibitions in a way have really widened the artistic horizon of uh, the, I should say not only Karnataka but the entire south because what we envisaged was during discussions with Farooqi Saab and also though Mr. Sehare had left the uh, gallery and had moved on to the National Museum, that this should be a center for the entire South. And uh, the vision should be uh, something which is uh, not parochial but uh, national and international. Uh, परंपरे का संस्कृति या परंपरे इन द इधर था अन्य बड़ा बंद था कलय गड़बड़ने के मत तो इल्ली वाले के यावेयाव मट्ट दली बढ़ना है तो परिवर्तन नहीं है ना तो याव हंत गड़ले बन मुट्टी तो ये वाला वो जनसामरे अदर इतिहास गुरता होगा को the inaugural uh, function of NGMA in, uh, in the year 1954, it was marked by an occasion of uh, an exhibition of uh, eminent sculptors of those period. And uh, say about 22 uh, sculptors of that uh, who can be called as the you know, pioneers in modernist sculpture. 
they participated in that exhibition and a portion of those that collection which were also the award winning collection uh, during the inaugural exhibition in 1954 uh, so uh, it's 10 years since the inauguration it's been a wonderful uh, uh, organization a wonderful uh, place of uh, entertainment a place of uh, meaningful uh, time spent for the Bangaloreans. We more or less got people through. That's about it. Two assistant curators, one exhibition officer, an administrative officer, an accounts officer. Rehana Shah was there and the boys were there. We were a small team and I think we were a happy team because every time, all the time we were experimenting and trying to do new things. Uh, uh, one thing, we had very little money and that in a way was a blessing because it forced us to strategize networking as a very important part of our program. We held a big meeting of artists uh, of Bangalore to sh in order to show them that this place belongs to them as well as to art lovers. And they came, it was a well-attended meeting. We had meetings with um, even private galleries. We continue to have a kind of uh, dialogue with various uh, stakeholders in the cultural scene. Uh, I remember one of our priorities was to uh, get people into the music. At the same time, and I was very particular about this, I thought that there's a beautiful auditorium and I'm actually here, I'm sitting in the auditorium right now before the camera. Uh, it has a beautiful auditorium, holds on about 150 people comfortably. The NGMA Bangalore is located very centrally. And my concern was that my, uh, what should I say, desire was that this space must be used as much as possible for all the arts, whether it is music, whether it is dance, whether it is theater. I wanted it to arrive at a stage when people would know that at any evening there is some activity or the other going on in uh, NGMA, in the auditorium apart from the shows that are going on in the gallery. Definitely, Kalei Matte, Kala Bedwanege, Yadrothu, Mele Sinitta Bartage. Yadrothu, Sumarashtu, Kala Pradashnagali, Bhaakle Avantha, Andre here, Yudhi Nalika, Kala Pradashnagali, Nirpadage. You know, we continue to have a number of interesting events of all sorts. We had a retrospective of Komi Vyaravala, and the boys were pushing her wheelchair. This was just two years before she passed away. So these are some of the things that we did. Uh, we, I wanted to bring in music and dance, not just the visual arts. I felt very strongly that we cannot make compartments between the arts. We had a, a, a program called Carte Blanche, where artists could come and put up programs, not in the gallery, but in the or in the museum, in the auditorium, around the water bodies. So we had performance art. I remember very well an artist floating on the water, on the, on the water body with a flower between his lips, floating on his back. I mean, it was such fun. We had a lot of fun in organizing all these things. And we even started a newsletter, finally, in which we, uh, we, we had pictures and we showed all that we did during the month, during the quarter and also in indicated the programs that were to ensue. We put it on the mailing list so that people could know. Coming to NGMA Bangalore and seeing the functioning and the facility here, it was itself a learning experience for me because all through my life, I have been a science museum professional, a science communicator, a science popular popularization person. So, the display, the methodology by which NGMA has been showcasing the exhibitions were on an entirely different platform. So it was it was a learning experience for me as well when I came to NGMA. One the museums only curator can say that the most important thing is that the most important thing is that the most important you will know one system in
there is a very dedicated and committed team of officials in the region who really contribute uh, in organizing the regional nations here. They also have got a very good uh, research library and a good collection of uh, paintings here. Uh, we have some major exhibition here, like uh, Karnataka Art Movement. It's uh, one of the big, uh, biggest exhibition. Uh, as far as the, the, the premises is concerned, one of the beautiful architecture and uh, uh, the best place to really appreciate the nature, to appreciate art. Many people thought it's one of the best NGMAs in India. You know, that was a really a, a good uh, a remark coming even from a person like Tujas Subramanian. He said it's the best place. NGMA Bangalore is the best place. And uh, so, I mean, we have had a number of uh, exhibitions. And, uh, you know, the ambience itself, uh, it's, it welcomes for various things. And we collaborated with a large number of foreign uh, uh, institutions, you know, those cultural uh, arms and wings of the embassies and the consulates and the high commissions. And we did some very good shows with uh, international artists being represented here. Art education is an important part of the normal school education, which is something lacking in our educational system in India. And uh, we should now reach out to the schools, that school children are exposed to some of these exhibitions. They are brought to the NGMA, they are shown the artworks, because the aesthetic sense also needs to be nurtured. Quite a lot of artists have depended on NGME uh, for their collection, for their works to be collected by NGME. And at the same time, they always felt that the NGME will give a better place for their works. And, uh, and also it's important for them to showcase their work in NGME. And, um, uh, particularly, particularly, I'm talking about uh, uh, 50 years ago, 45 years ago, 40 years ago. It was very important. And I think the objective should be to make it not just a space where well-known artists are exhibited, but also a space where various medium, various forms of art are allowed to thrive, are actually encouraged to use the auditorium, to use the outdoor space, to use the entire premises. It is indeed an um, important occasion for all of us here at uh, Bangalore to be celebrating. NGMA Bangalore Centre is, uh, is not only an art gallery, it is a museum and more so it is a, it is a cultural centre. We focus uh, uh, besides, of course, the uh, you know preservation, the conservation, the presentation of art, and more so on the modern and contemporary art, and interpretation of art to in a language in which the general public understands, that is one of our primary jobs. By having workshops, by art appreciation, art appreciation lectures, correct, correct, you know, by NGV regularly. So I suppose many people would like to 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 understand. What is artist? What is the art behind the artist? And what is an artist's contribution and things like that? It's extremely important. And they've got, they've got uh, every, all the facility. They've got very good auditorium, they've got very good spaces all over. And I think it's important that this is created. This is, you should be created. And the public should know that there is a very important place for them to spend time you know, instead of going to malls parks, I think there is place like NGMA to spend time to appreciate art, to look at art, to see see, see the art in front of them. It's, it's a fantastic opportunity. But in addition to that, NGMA also hosts a number of other events and programs which are educative and outreaching. 
and uh, we in the years to come we want to you know take this uh, to the larger and wider spect spectrum of the society we want to cover more and more you know, people who are there uh, from the art background or who are there for the love of art they are in any case know about ngma here in bangalore and i think i think it's also important uh, to create what's called the society of friends of national gallery of modern art i think it's my dream for the last 10 15 years i have been talking about it and uh, you know all over the world we have got society of friends of various museums and galleries uh, ngma has been responsible for example for having the uh, amrita shergill collection the nandlal bose collection abhinandanath thakur uh, and uh, other national collections and uh, uh, this is something which i think they deserve great credit for that the works of some artists like uh, for instance nandlal bose or amrita shergill you know, have been declared as national treasures you now this concept of declaring certain artworks as national treasures is a major contribution of the ngma at the end of the day i would say that uh, for, uh, we did fairly well because we kept discussing the staff we were a small staff they would all come and sit in my room and we would discuss together you know programs along with others so there was a real sharing of ideas and experiences it was totally different from the government hierarchical structure in gma uh, it's a premier institution in the country and uh, i think they have done a wonderful job um and i i think uh, they have uh, uh, 65 years now of existence of ngma uh, thanks to modern asad and uh, pandit nehru who really created that uh, ngma in delhi so i think um, they should be very proud today to see the way the activities are going on and coming to uh, bangalore it has been for almost 10 years now that we have been having this ngma and uh, i always feel that ngma is part of me and uh, i feel very close to the place and so my exhibition was i felt it was also almost like my show at my place at my studio i wish both ngm delhi and in bangalore all the best wishes i would like to invite all the all the artists all the art lovers and uh, all the students the young and upcoming artists and uh, all the, and the general public uh, at large to please visit ngma and get benefited get educated and get rejuvenated so we have a long journey to go uh, looking ahead uh, ngma wants to be a vibrant space in itself showcasing contemporary art showcasing artists making a difference in the art world and to establish in itself one of a premier important art institution in the world to casing important and contemporary artist work which would make a difference and also to make a important memories and moments in the timeline of art history